Ladies and gentlemen, a sad day has dawned upon us where the citizens have had to stand up against the sexualization of children pushed by the state. The Safe Schools program has, is going to wreak havoc to our children's lives. Teaching our children about sex should be a task of the parent and not the state or the school. So we are here today gathered at the Safe Schools Rally to tell the government that we aren't going to fall over on their command and just give up our children like that. The parents have the responsibility of putting morality in the children, not the state. Thank you. And we want to tell any people who feel that they are being marginalised, this is not what we want to do. We don't want to make you feel awful, we don't want to make you feel like you're free. We don't want to make you feel like you're part of our society. There was a case of a young girl about 11 or 12. Get him a tight girl. He likes skateboards. He likes playing footy with the boys. And probably didn't much like our eldest daughter. She really loved all the boy stuff. It was put to her that she should consider that she might be a lesbian. That's not okay, guys. It's our morality. If she is, in the end, that's mum and dad to sort out, not the school. What we're talking about is parents' rights. We're not talking about what you are or anyone else. We're talking about parents having the right to say, yes, you can teach my kids that, you can teach them that, no, you can't teach them. Well, it's the gender fluidity. You can't teach them theory. It's not okay. First, thank you to all parents, grandparents, carers and concerned citizens for acknowledging your concern and supporting us by attending this rally. Respect to you all. We have people attending this rally from across our beautiful nation, including as far as Perth, Western Australia. We are here today to address the highly sexualized curriculum currently in our education system. Presenting parents from all backgrounds because we are inclusive. We do not accept that getting children to question their sexual identity will prevent bullying and domestic violence as it claims. We oppose 
the present labor education curriculum as neither age appropriate, nor scientifically factual, nor medically confirmed. How is it, ladies and gentlemen, that political Marxists and social activists are being allowed to create curriculum in our schools? We are here today because children and families have already been damaged and broken. And we have them and they are here and they're not going away. Parents should not be subject to losing their children to a Marxist agenda. There is no science behind safe schools. They are pushing an ideology. It has nothing to do with anti-bullying, but with removal of parental rights, and we are here to send a message loud and clear. and social experiments. If you would like any more information, please go to our website, www.spoc-australia.com. It's on our banner. There it is. Uh, we've compiled a lot of information. So if you need to know the facts, please refer to our website. resources behind them. It is time to change the government. Just want to thank all of the people who've come here. That is just a fantastic turnout. We, we just so much appreciate that and we see your heart that you care about your kids. Yes. And when we're talking a lot of politics here, that really bothers me. We shouldn't have to. We want to make sure that if Daniel Andrews stays in, safe schools goes. If Daniel Andrews says, no, I will not remove this, that he goes. Thank you for um, being so respectful. It's really good to have a rally where we have a group of people who are respectful and, and uh, respect each other, respect even the opposition's opinion. Could I really again encourage you to go to our website, www.spock-oz.com. If you go there, there's a link to our Facebook site. And if you register on there, we can keep you up to date because this is just the start. Yes. We hope it's the end. Because if the government buckles under and says, we can see there's a whole pile of people here who are not happy, and you're just only the f a few people, when, whenever you have a rally, there's only a small group of everybody who's unhappy who turns up. So you're really representing probably 10 people each for each person. It would have been much bigger if all the people who were bothered by state schools turned up. If Daniel Andrews does not listen, we will be back. We're going to get bigger. We sort of really only had a few weeks to contact through various networks. We now have a database of 10,000 churches and organisations that we can access in this country. And if they do not listen, we will rise up against them and we will take them out. We should really thank the police for their fantastic effort. Thank you, guys. And also for our security guys, you guys wouldn't have noticed, but there's been security guys making sure that everybody behaves. Yeah. Apparently unshackled here as well, guys. Thank you for your support. Appreciate that. So as you can see, it is very, very encouraging to see the community gather together over a topic that involves our children's future. We shouldn't even have to be gathering at the steps of Parliament to talk about the future of our children. We shouldn't have to come out to events like this because it should be common knowledge that children should not be sexualized. They should not be 
taught things at such a young age that I didn't even know until I was 17. So I just want to say to um, anyone who is supporting the Safe Schools program, keep your hands off our kids, watch the videos and watch the faces of every single concerned citizen you've seen here on the steps of Parliament today and listen to them. Because the future of our children is not in the hands of the state, it's in the hands of the parents and the children themselves to make their own decisions. Thank you very much and we hope to see you again. Have a good one. This has been an Unshackled Fast. Please like, comment and subscribe. While you're here, grab our free ebook at theunshackledbattlefield.net and visit theunshackled.net for all the latest news and commentary.